middle class issues um, and equal pay for equal work. Whenever these numbers come out concerning the White House, it, it keeps coming up repeatedly that the metric that the White House cites for there being a gap nationwide is also there at the White House. And all right, folks, uh, welcome to Gimme 5. Michelle Kaczynski of CNN uh, addressing a question to uh, Josh Ernest, the White House spokesman, on the issue of equal pay for women. Why, she wants to know, is it still a fact that women at the White House make less than men make at the White House? And uh, it's comical, uh, but Josh Ernest uh, tries to defend it and explain it the way Jay Carney did before him. Watch. Uh, the statistic that's cited about the country uh, is about 70, 70, 77 cents on the dollar, uh, and here at the White House, White House, it's 88 cents on the dollar, right? So the White House is doing appreciably better than the country is more broadly, but we still have more work to do at the White House. There are a lot of ways to evaluate pay, pay equity. Yes, there are a lot of ways to evaluate pay equity, which w is why this is a bogus issue in the first place. When Jay Carney was asked about this months ago when he was in this position, uh, on a day that Barack Obama was out demagoguing this equal pay issue, Jay Carney explained, well, there's a lot of mitigating factors that go into this. There's a lot of metrics that go into this. Yes. That's true for the White House, it's true for the country, which is why this is really a bogus issue, a non-issue. But the White House and the President and the Democrats continue to perpetuate it, so when the White House gets caught doing the same thing, they stammer, they stutter, and they explain. You know, the White House response, of course, is when you look at the numbers for equal pay, equal work, which should be at the heart of this, it is equal. So do you think that that comparison, then, is one that should not be made using the averages, whether you apply it to the country as a whole, as a whole or to the White House? Right. I think that there are a variety of measures to try to get at um, whether or not uh, uh, workers are receiving equal pay for equal work. Of course there are. All kinds of things go into it. Seniority. Um, qualifications, you know, we, we talk about overall in the nation, it's majors at school, what women are majoring in compared to men, the higher paying uh, uh, fields of, of uh, endeavor compared to lower uh, earning fields of endeavor. So many factors go into this claim that women make eight, 70 cents on the dollar to, to, to men here at the White House. So they're pretty happy bragging about the fact that it's 88 cents for women on the dollar for men. They feel good about that because it beats the national average. But why can't the president take that pen? We all know he has a pen. He tells us he has a pen every day. Why doesn't he fix it with that pen? Why doesn't he just up the salaries of people, of the women, to coincide with the men? Six years is not enough to fix it? I guess not. You can look at whether individuals who hold the same title make the same uh, salary. Uh, that's certainly the case at the White House. There are a variety of examples of this. Uh, you know, to, to choose two, uh, the senior advisor to the president, Dan Pfeiffer, who is a man, uh, is paid the same salary that the president's senior advisor, Valerie Jarrett, is paid. So there is uh, equal pay for equal work that uh, is demonstrated here at the White House. Yeah, oh, he cited what, one case, two cases? You see, and here's something that you're not hearing about through the mainstream media, obviously. And that's the sad part, the real sad part. Because the White House should have to drop this as an issue. The Democrats should have to drop this as an issue if Obama can't fix it within the White House. But they won't, they don't, and they don't have to because the media isn't making that necessary. One more. I'd point out that uh, of all of the departments here at the White House, there are 22 different departments, uh, more than half of them are run by women. So there are women in senior positions who are being paid uh, according, uh, in line with those, uh, with those senior positions. Uh, that is also another way to sort of evaluate uh, one's commitment to pay equity. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I, I, you know, that answer was so outrageous that uh, I guess everybody started shouting at once. Anyway, uh, excuse that little uh, interruption there. Uh, but um, I, I got to tell you, I don't blame Josh Ernest. I really don't. What, what, what could he do? How could he explain this away? He's trying his best. He's doing the best he can. There is no answer because there is no disparity in pay that is purposeful, that is based on prejudice, in some instances maybe, but not systemic.